friends, this is Friday, it's August the 30th. We have Diana Moxon with us from the Columbia Art League, fresh back from Europe and- no, freshly going. Oh, freshly, freshly going. going, but you were there for the Royal Baby, weren't you? Oh, you know, I, I tried to get it. I tried <laughs> to get in, but they wouldn't let me. <laughs> uh, Diana Moxon, the Columbia Art League, it's a pleasure to have you. I don't think I've seen you since Art in the Park. <gasps> Probably it's not. been a while, and that was a that was a wonderful oh, was uh, a, art in the park. Well, and, well, good. I'm glad. I'm glad you think so. It was a pretty tough one. If well, you were you wearing had rain. my shoes, you had <laughs> rain. But I was down there on Saturday, and it was set up just beautifully. You had boards to walk on because of uh, the mud, and there were a lot of people there. There were a lot of people. No, Saturday and Sunday were great days. The setup day on Friday was a little. It was a little difficult because it was like setting up on a swamp. Mm -hmm. We'd had huge rains on Thursday and Friday morning, so it was a little soggy. So that uh, Art in the Park, that was just about back, in, back in June. Yeah, 1st and 2nd of June. Boy, time goes by fast. And here we are at the end of August, and that was just <laughs> the beginning of summer. But uh, I, uh, I, I enjoyed it so much. I bought some uh, uh, little bowls, salad bowls, and I liked them so much I was going to go back on Sunday to get some more, but I just couldn't bring myself to drive another 70 miles. <laughs> <laughs> well, you but, listened to my you listened to my words, and I said, yeah, go and buy something. Yeah. So thank you, Paul. That You're made welcome. A difference. Thank All you right, so much. what are we talking about today? Art in the Park is history. It is, it is for a couple of months. Um, we have a brand new show that just opened. Uh, we did the opening reception last Saturday. So this is the first week of the show, and it's called Interpretations. And it's been a show I've been looking forward to for a year since we started planning it a year Interpretations. ago. Interpretations. Interpretations. Here's what that means. We have uh, 43 artists and we have 43 writers. And we did a jury process back in the spring to choose those 43 artworks from those artists and choose 43 pieces of writing that are each 100 words or less or fewer. And then once we'd chosen those 43 artists and the 43 writers, we swapped their work. So if you were an artist, you received a piece of writing and then you create a second artwork that's your interpretation oh. of that piece of writing. And if you're a writer, you received an image of an artwork and you create a second piece of writing that's your interpretation. So each of those 43 people have two either two artworks or two pieces of writing in the show, each one where they've responded to the other person. Wow. Isn't that That's, exciting? Yes, it really is. Yeah. Whose idea was that? Mine. <laughs> That is, that's a very good idea. Well, you know, a couple of years ago, we had a show called Hint Fiction, which was based on a book of the same name. It was an anthology of stories in 25 words or fewer. So this one, we said 100 words or fewer um, and worked only with local writers. Hint Fiction was a national book. But I realized at the time we did that show that really we have amazing writers here in Columbia. We don't need to go out to a national right. pool of writers. Okay, so when does this open? This is already open. Oh, it's already open. You can already go. You can. We can walk down here after the, after the show and go. Oh, just walk it. right in and take yeah. a look at it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And how long will it be? Uh, Until the 1st of November. So it's up for a, a good period of time. And what's even more exciting is we are publishing the show into a book. So you can come and buy the book that goes with the show and you'll see each of the artworks and each of the pieces of writing. Is it going to be soft cover or hard cover? It's a soft book? cover. We're going to work with MU with their espresso publishing machine down at MU in the bookstore and, and Commerce Bank uh, uh, offered to uh, sponsor the book. So it's going to be a, a great uh, reminiscence of this amazing show that we have with all local writers and all local artists. So the book will not be out until after the show has closed? It'll be out about halfway through the show in about three or four weeks. We're working on it right now. Oh. And we should have it done by about the midpoint of the show. So that when people come to the show, if they're so impressed with it and they enjoy it so much, as they're leaving, they're going to be able to purchase this book. Yeah. And then they'll they'll be able to relive the show anytime they exactly. want. Exactly. The whole whole show. You got the whole show and all and all the works of writing. Well you've writing. got all bases covered, haven't you? We have. It's gonna be great. I'm so excited. I can't I can't wait to see everybody's impression and uh, an interpretation, their own interpretation, because the kind of the the, the point behind the show is how we all see the world differently. Yeah. So how one artist interprets something is not how another artist or how you and I would interpret it. And hint fiction was very interesting for that because I'd hear people walking around during that show and they'd look at an artwork and and they'd read a piece of writing and they'd say, well, I wouldn't have done that. I don't, I don't get why that, why did they interpret it that way? And, and so that was very interesting, making people see that, you know, we all see the world differently. Well, now, how, how have the artist and the writers, uh, what kind of response have you had from them about the interpretation of their work? 
Well, I, I mean, I think I think it's been very interesting. I mean, a lot of them they they hadn't worked together. They never met. They didn't know who they were working with. So it was a completely anonymous swap. You didn't know if you were an artist. You got a piece of writing. You didn't know whose piece of writing that was until you came to the reception and saw and met the person who you were working with. They don't know who they, they were working with. And you already had the reception. We had the reception last so, week. So was it? Did they have good response from? Yeah, the, I think everybody was very intrigued by the other. You didn't persons. have anybody come up and say, "Hey, why, why would you <laughs> interpret it this way? This isn't what I had in mind." I'm sure some people may have thought that. <laughs> But they didn't say it. <laughs> no, I think that's really very interesting. Yeah. And it sounds like a fantastic show. It's, it's going to be great. And I've been so impressed with the works of, uh, with the responses that, that came in, with the works of writing that came in. The, already the day after I, I first did the swap back in April, the day after I had the first piece of writing back in, somebody was just, they got their piece of art and immediately they had a response to it and wrote a poem and sent it back in to me. Hmm. So they've been coming in dribs and drabs over the last sort of three or four months. And it's so exciting to see them come. It's like Christmas. Yeah every day. Oh, that's great. So people can see it through the end of November. Correct. Okay. Anything else going and, on? Um, oh, well, lots of classes coming up as well this fall. So our youth and our adult classes, they all start at the beginning of September. So um, if you want to do a workshop, a colored pencil workshop or a drawing evening class or oil painting class, we do an afternoon watercolor class for adults. For kids, we've got a homeschool program that started just already. Uh, we've got Saturday morning art adventure for children that starts on September Is there the anything you don't have? Oh, gosh, my tomatoes aren't doing very well. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But you've got all bases covered. Oh, we have. All right, maybe you can get one of the writers to do something or the artists to do something to help pick up your tomatoes. Well, yeah, as maybe. You say, your maybe tomatoes. it might be the wilt. I've got the Boone County Art Show, of course. I'll talk about that a bit later on when I come back and see you, but that's in the beginning of October. Okay. We have a little fundraising afternoon tea in September. The Betty Brown Tea is on the, uh, mm -hmm. September the 25th. So there's it's a very busy month, September okay. and October. So if you want more information on any of this, you can stop by or you can ring her up. Ring uh, me up. Ring, ring her like up you do. At, at the Columbia Art League. And what's your phone number? It is 573-443-8838. Okay. I, can you go on, on the web too? You can go onto the interwebs. And you on can the go interweb? www.columbiaartleague.org. <laughs> go on to the interweb. <laughs> I like that, Diana Moxon. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Or the line. Go on to the line. We're uh, out of time for today. Monday, Larry Brown will be here. Our program directed by Travis McMillan of the Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio Pat Akers, KBIA. Our floor director is Rich Polzine. And our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. If you want to see this again, go on to the interweb. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new term.